Hello, Simply New Englanders. All right, so we're back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull the battery out of the CF Moto, the U Force 1000. So for those of you that watched the last video, my brother and I, we were out in the woods out back, and yeah, the battery crapped the bed, and we got stuck out in the woods. Well, we're stuck out here. The battery is dead. Uh, uh, we're out in the middle of nowhere, too. We're going to be walking. It's going to be quite a haul. Got the thing started again from breaking down. Here we go. So we had to come back and get the Jeep, as you see behind me there, um, to jump start this thing. And in doing that, we were a little nervous to drive it back through the trails because if we had broken down again and we were deeper into the woods, we wouldn't have been able to get the Jeep back in there to jump start it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get the battery out. I will do my best to give you some good lighting. It doesn't seem too hard. It does look like where I'm going to have to get my hands in is a bit of a tight spot, but if it went in, it should come out. And then when I'm done with that, I'm gonna go pick up my brother, Crazy Mr. Indeed, who was with me when this thing broke down. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty crappy out here. So I'm not really looking forward to driving an hour north, but we've got the trusty Jeep, should be fine. I'm a New Englander. If I can't drive in crappy weather, then I'm not allowed to call myself a New Englander and I shouldn't have a Simply New England channel. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and the bell. And if you like this content, you'll get the notifications when uh, we upload more videos. So thanks for watching and let's let the battery removal begin. And when I get back, um, I will show you how to reinstall it. It will just be opposite. Um, I'm going to lay out the tools you're going to need to remove this battery. So if you haven't done this in the past, I'm going to take out a little bit of the learning curve for you. So all you're going to need is a ratchet set, uh, or you know, just a ratchet so makes it easier. I'm going to use a 16 millimeter. That's going to be what we use to take the bolts off underneath. You're gonna want, you know, like a little set of needle nose pliers because we'll be using this to pull the cotter pin that holds this trunk space on because when I lift this up, I'm going to need some room to get in there. Obviously a Phillips head screwdriver so you can take the battery cables off. And what I'm going to do is once I come back with the new battery, what I will do, and I'll explain it to you more in detail when we get there, I am going to use this once the battery is back in and I start the motor. I'll use the digital multimeter to ensure that I'm getting the proper charge. This way I'll know that yes or no, I either had a bad battery or I was having an electrical issue. I'm going to assume it's just a bad battery I'm not overly worried, but I don't want to break down out there again, so I'm just going to take the precaution. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this battery out. First thing you're going to want to do is we've got this lever here. This is a hydraulic assisted bed. So you're just simply going to pull this. Your, bed, your bed's going to come down or up, I should say. And then under there, there is a cotter pin that holds this bed. I'm going to show you why you're going to want to remove this. So here is where the battery sits. It has that brace that sits around it. And then here, over there is the cotter pin. We're going to pull that because when I pull it, it's going to allow this bed to come back about another two to three inches. 
which is then going to give me room to get into there. Okay, so as you can see, there is this little pin right here, okay? So all you're gonna do is get your, get your thing here. You can see you can do it with one hand. Don't lose this down in the motor. Just pull that out, nice and simple. Put it somewhere where you're not gonna lose it. I'm gonna actually take this and put it in my pocket. Then you're just gonna take this here. Bear with me. I think I can show you guys. That's it, this will fall back. And then now, this is going to lift a few more inches, like I had mentioned. Okay, on to the battery. Grab your Phillips head screwdriver. And all you're going to do, always start by removing the positive first. Okay. I'm going to do my best with one hand. Just unscrew this. So that's that. It's that easy. There's the screw. I'm going to put these over in the cup holder so I don't lose them. Pull that off. Just put that over there somewhere safe. And then you got the next one. It's really easy to do. I think the hardest part is going to be getting the bolts off that hold this down here. So now I'm going to have two hands. So the next thing I'm going to do is, like I showed you in the beginning of the video, 16 millimeter. We need to take this bar off that holds the battery down. So we just gotta get, now unfortunately, there's a big plate under here. You can't get to it from underneath unless you wanna lift this thing up a little bit and come in from this angle. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it this way. This first one on the left side, my left, um, is pretty simple to get to. So all you do, just come on under here, feel around. Yeah, there you go. I got it. Okay, I think I can get the rest of it with my hand. Okay, yep, yeah, there's the first one. That one was real easy. Now, my recommendation to you is going to be don't do what other people have done or I've done in situations like this. Look at what you're doing first and see if there's an easier way to get in. Now you can tell, if I come in through here, I'm going to have to have extra long arms, really skinny, to get to the other side. To get this one off. Okay? But what I noticed is, I can come in this way and then around back. And again, I know someone's saying, oh, just come in from underneath. There's all kinds of plating underneath here and I'm not going to pull that off just to get a battery out. So here we go, I'll get under there, coming from this angle. It's a little bit difficult to get in there. I'm gonna probably have to use this hand. Yeah, there it is. All right, so I'm on. Not a lot of space back there, so I'm having to do short movements. There we go. Okay. All right, got it. There we go. So now, here's the easy part. This should just come up. Yeah, there it is. Nice and simple. And batteries tend to be heavy, so I'm gonna try it with one hand. Let's see. Yeah, it's a heavy guy. Okay. And there it is. I'm hoping I just had a bad battery and not an electrical issue, and again, We'll be able to determine that by the multimeter. So that's that. Okay, well, I'm gonna get into the trusty Jeep, pick up my brother, and we're gonna head to Tamworth, New Hampshire. And I'll film a little bit of our drive there and a little bit of us chatting and keep my eye on the road. We get some pretty scenery, which I'm expecting up that area. Uh, we're heading in towards the White Mountains. I think we're gonna see some snow. 
So I'll share that with you. All right, we'll see you in a little bit. And we're off. All right, good for him. Good for him. Yeah. Don't let it stop you. He's going to work. So here we are. We are heading up to Barton Motorsports in Tamworth to replace that battery. Get some coffee first. We're gonna get. We're gonna get some coffee. We're gonna go in here Gotta to uh, McDonald's. So uh, the Golden Arches. The Golden Arches. We're Indeed. here. We're gonna take you with us. Huh. Oh, I know. Yeah, good old McDonald's. Coffee. Some coffee? <laughs> Alright, good. The coffee? Oh yeah. yeah. Mickey D's coffee. Mickey D's. Yeah. Mickey D's. Yeah. Stupid mask. Yeah. I hate them. So how many McDonald's have you seen with the fireplace inside? Kind of interesting. These hot chocolate. Real crappy out here. I think it's beautiful though. I hate New England weather, but I do like the snow fog. Here we go. Skiing. <laughs> Let's get skiing. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. I tell you that, guys. This is why I call him Mr. Indeed. All right, guys. We're off like a prom dress. Indeed. Heading north. Here, Here we go. go. Had to have a quick stop. We never can just go in one straight direction. We always have detours and side things with you, even though we've lived here all of our life. That's New England for you. It's always changing. If you don't like the cold, don't move to New England. Yeah. Yep. Daniel Webster Highway. Quiet. There's an old story here in New England. An old crotchety mountain man. He's sitting on the edge of the mountain and he's having a big conversation with Mother Nature. The old man says to Mother Nature, you know, I wonder if it can snow rain and be sunny all in the same day. Mother Nature looks at him and says, oh, we're in New England. Hold my beer. I'll be right back. So we decided to take a little detour here. We're uh, over here in Meredith, New Hampshire, cutting through on our way up to Tamworth, and we saw the people out here ice fishing. Just thought this would be really nice, seeing that I did an ice fishing video. It's kind of a follow-up. This is what us New Englanders do in the winter. Wow. Yeah, really nice, huh? You gonna take a couple photos? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, so we're a little lower key today than usual. We're just kind of out here enjoying everything. Panorama. Indeed. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna get back on the road. It's the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. Oh, no. This did not happen. Oh, 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 oh. I'm good. See, you guys? Insurance. Insurance. New England. Yeah. You see, you got to be careful every step of the way. Yeah. Better him falling than me. <laughs> well, here we are. We're at the old little dealership up here in Barton, New Hampshire, or Tamworth. It's Barton's Motorsports. Gonna replace that battery. It's pretty shitty out here. Yeah. Ah. Yep. The things we do. There it is. All right. We're gonna head off. I'll fill you in later. New. Here's a couple of the motos. So you got the Z Force 500 right here. Real, real nice. This is the 2021. This will be the 500. 
And then there's the competition. Big beast, big beast. Wolverine. We only got another 500. The mother, the Maverick Can Am. Four seater. Beast. Beast. And that's it. My understanding from this dealer is that inventory has been really hard to get. Okay, here we are. So I'm going to put the battery back in. Again, I'm going to walk you through it again. Just to not assume that everybody knows how to just do things in reverse because they've seen it happen once. So we just put that in there. Line it up nicely on the edge. You'll see that my washers are in there. They're lined up. Just do it in reverse. When you're putting it back on, it's opposite. You're going to put your negative, your black, on first. Never put the positive on first. Okay, so just line that up. Okay, that's simple. It'll start feeding that spacer up as you screw it down. It'll catch it automatically. Okay, so once that's connected, before we put the rest on, let's just ensure everything is working the way it should, okay? Let's just make sure. No sense of putting everything back together if it's not going to work. So here we go. Fingers crossed. In the words of Jim Carrey, like a glove. Okay. As I had mentioned to you earlier, I'm going to use this digital multimedia. Excuse me. I'm going to use this digital multimeter. I'm going to make sure that the battery has the proper charge to begin with. So this multimeter is nice. It has a little strap in the back, kind of, kind of hands-free. So what you're going to do, if you do want to use a multimeter, when you're checking a battery like this, make sure you put it in DC, okay? And all you have to do, you might not be able to see that number, but I'm watching it. It should be right around 12 when I do this. So I'm going to touch that there. I'm going to touch this on this one. And my voltage, let's see, it's going up, 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 yep. There it is. 12, 6, 12, 7, 12, 8, as I move it around a little bit, 12, 5, 9. Okay, so the battery itself is fully charged and it's working great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the motor on. When I turn the motor on, I expect to see this number go up to around 15 or so 14 15 if it continues to go up or really drops that means i'm having an electrical issue so let's give that a shot i don't know if you can hear me over the motor let's test this thing out same thing negative Positive and oh. yeah, it's holding. It's holding. So that makes me happy. So with using this um, multimeter and doing the test I did, I know that I don't have an electrical issue. I just unfortunately ended up with a crappy battery from the manufacturer. But again, those guys at Barton Motorsports took care of me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put that bracket back on and that'll be the end of this tutorial. And I hope it helped you guys out. For those, again, that um, do not have that mechanical background and tend to question themselves on certain things, if they can do it or not. Again, if I can do this, you can do it. It's really simple. It's so simple a caveman could do it. <laughs>
I'm sure many of you just figured out my age with that reference to that old caveman commercial. So the funny thing about doing this for a YouTube tutorial, this probably would have taken me about 20 minutes max, but set up, moving the camera around, screwing it back in. So far, I'm, I've got about an hour into this. So hopefully you guys can just hop all over this and not have to teach someone else how to do it. All right, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna take this piece again, just gonna put it back down here, gonna line it up. All right, that's in, that's in that side. Make sure this is nice and straight. I'm trying to keep my head out of the way for you. Make sure that one's in. Make sure this one's in. And there it is, and it'll just drop back into place. Okay, so once that's in, start with the outer screw first. It's gonna make it easier. Just get in there with your hand. Get in there with your hand first, guys, and get them started. It's gonna be a lot easier. Okay. That's the easy one. <laughs> then there's the one on the back side, which is the one that's a real pain in my ass. <laughs> All right. Even finding it, because I'm trying to just feel around under there. I can't see anything, because all these plates are in the way. It might be easier for me to go in through here. Let's see. Okay, so I've got that screwed part way in. Now I'm going to come back with the ratchet and tighten them up. Okay, so now you're just going to take your ratchet, find the first one, and we're left to loose, right to tight. <laughs> okay, there's that side. Now for the infamous right side. <laughs> this is the challenge one. Oh boy, yeah, this one's a little bit more difficult to get to, so I think I'm going to have to take the same angle as I took when I, when I took it off. So, coming up in this way. Oh yeah, much easier. There we go. Just get it nice and tight. You don't want this flopping around when you're riding. It's hard to do things when you can't see what you're doing. Okay. And guys, that's it. That is how you replace the battery on the CF Moto 1000. And guys, don't forget, when you're done putting the battery back on, make sure you reconnect your bucket to the hydraulic assist. And that's it. Everything's all done. Everything's working correctly. Now I'll be able to get back out there and bring you some more fun videos. So hope you found this helpful. Thanks for tuning in to Simply New England. Once again, if you find value in this channel, please subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell. It helps the channel grow. It also lets you know when we bring you more content. That's it for now. Signing off from Simply New England.